Hello class, uh, this is Mr. Gwaite with the uh, National University Academy. I uh, just wanted to review with you your Biology B Unit uh, 3 information for pages uh, 415 through 493, chapters 19, 20, 21. Um, you'll be going over uh, tissues, proteins, viruses, bacteria, organs, uh, sportozoa, silica, hyphae, and other information here. So I wanted to remind you to please uh, be thorough in your lab summaries or your activity summaries. Those are make up a lot of uh, the grade for the review of your data set and your collection of information after the labs. So that's a big part of it if you're looking to get A's or B's in the class. If you add a little bit more to your summaries, you'll find that you'll be doing better there, especially when you add your specific information into that summary with a concluding statement. So we're all off to a pretty darn good start. I know some of you are close to finishing the course. Great work. Um, so keep it up. Uh, let's continue with a quick review here of um, the some of the things you'll see on the quiz. Distinct, distinct types of cells with common structure are called tissues. It's on page 419 of your textbook. The study of viruses is a part of biology because they are active inside living cells, page 394. The typical virus consists of a protein coat and a nucleic acid core. This is also reviewed on page 434 of your textbook. Cholera is usually transmitted by contaminated water. Great textbook or great book by uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This gentleman here is uh, Love in the Time of Cholera. It's also a, a movie version of that. You might want to pick up. Um, of course that's more uh, your world literature class uh, for your junior or senior year, but if you are interested in reading an interesting book uh, in the magical realism genre, check out uh, Love in the Time of Cholera sometime. So again, cholera is usually transmitted by contaminated water. Page 447, that's uh, reviewed in detail. Fungi are important to the ecosystem. This is a review question. And it's also uh, gone over for you on page 42 in your textbook. They are important to our ecosystem as decomposers. The earliest known group of living organisms on Earth uh, was the uh, bacteria, uh, page 413. The pathogen is an agent that is harmful to living organisms, page 434. Viruses reproduce only in living, living cells, page 434 as well. Uh, tissues organized into specialized structures with specific functions are called organs. This is a review question from uh, chapter uh, 15, I believe. And a temporary collection of cells that come together in a period of time and separate, for a brief period of time and separate, is called um, an aggregation. This is reviewed for you on page 418 of your text, so please take notes on that section. We'll be going over that again in class. Non-motile unicellular parasites that form spores and are responsible for malaria are, are called sprotozoans. This is on page 471, and you'll find a very interesting uh, graphic and description of the ma malarial life cycle on page 473. I urge you to read that. It's very interesting reading. Well, I guess that's a matter of opinion, but I found it interesting. Diatoms have double shells made of silica. Strings of connected fungal cells are called hyphae. Now let me spell that for you. H-Y-P-H-A-E. This is covered for you on page 483. That previous question, diatoms have double shells made of silica, is on page, uh, that information is re reviewed here on page 466. The major gas that is released to the atmosphere by plants is oxygen. This is a review question from an earlier section, but it's also reviewed for you again. Uh, information comes full circle when we discuss uh, pro uh, protists, and that's on page 472. A follow-up question on protists is, in addition to uh, causing disease, protists uh, contribute to the nitrogen cycle. Um, they create or, or contribute to diseases in uh, plants that we then pick up, and they also uh, contribute to diseases in livestock. So not only diseases in humans, but diseases in livestock, plants, and of course they contribute to the nitrogen cycle. All of this is reviewed in detail on page 472. 
So that's your review information in a nutshell, which you'll see on the quiz. If you take down the page numbers, if I went too fast in any way, uh, just go back, listen to the page numbers again. You can review that information on the page numbers I've given you, pages 419, 434, 447, 42, 413, 434, 418, 471, 466, 43, and 472. All those pages have your answers for the review information you'll be looking for for the quiz coming up. So if you study that well, you will do well on the exam, I'm sure. So any questions or concerns, please call, email, Skype. I'm available throughout the workday uh, from usually 8 until 5 o'clock. So get hold of me either by cell phone, by Skype, or by email. And wishing you the best of luck with all of your studies. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.